Welcome, explorers. Get ready to dive into the incredible forces that shape our Earth, weathering and erosion. By the end of this video, you'll understand how these processes work together to change the world around us. This guide will help you through the adventure, so pay close attention because you'll need this knowledge to complete your journey through the underground river cavern escape room. First, let's talk about weathering. Weathering is the process that breaks down rocks into smaller pieces. There are two types of weathering you need to know, physical weathering and chemical weathering. Physical weathering happens when rocks break apart without changing their chemical makeup. Think about freezing water. When water gets into cracks in rocks, it freezes and expands, breaking the rocks apart. It's a powerful process that can shatter even the hardest rock. Now, what about chemical weathering? This happens when rocks are broken down by chemical reactions. For example, acid rain can react with minerals in rocks, causing them to dissolve. Over time, this changes the rock's structure completely. So remember, physical weathering breaks rocks by force, while chemical weathering breaks them down through chemical reactions. Now that we know how rocks break down, let's explore what happens next. Erosion. Erosion is the process of moving those broken down pieces of rock called sediment from one place to another. Forces like water, wind and gravity carry the sediment away. Water is one of the most powerful agents of erosion. Rivers and streams can carry away sediment, slowly shaping valleys and canyons. Wind can blow sand across deserts and glaciers can drag huge boulders as they move. Erosion is happening all around us, changing landscapes little by little. Here's a key idea. Erosion involves the movement of rocks and sediment. Without erosion, all those weathered rocks would just stay in one spot. But that's not the end of the story. Once erosion has carried the sediment away, it has to go somewhere. That's where deposition comes in. Deposition is the process where eroded materials are dropped off in a new location. Imagine a river flowing down a mountain. It erodes rocks along the way, carrying the sediment downstream. When the river slows down, the sediment settles at the bottom, forming new layers. This is how rivers create deltas, beaches and other landforms over time. So, explorers, now you know the key differences between weathering, erosion and deposition. Remember that weathering breaks down rocks, erosion moves the broken pieces and deposition drops them off in new places. In your escape room adventure, you'll explore three different environments where these forces are at play. Pay close attention to the Crystal Cavern, the Tumbling Boulder Hall, and the Hidden River Rapids because you'll need to apply what you've learned to complete the challenges ahead. Ready for more adventures? Visit excavatingadventures.com to discover tons of interactive, science-themed escape rooms and earn free dig kits filled with rocks, minerals, fossils, and more. Keep learning, keep exploring, and good luck in your adventure.